Thank you for coming, and what a blessing it is today. Uh, I'm kind of nervous to all at the same time, but um, it's a great feeling to be with a great partner on Apple TV Plus. We've come together and, uh, and did something special in this doc series, so I'm really happy about that. But Introducing the towering point guard from the Midwest, number 32, Urban Magic Justin. It's showtime! I was assigned to cover Irvin's first game. He did stuff I'd never seen in a basketball floor before. So the sports writer came in and he said, I want to give you a nickname. About magic. He's like, yeah, right. <laughs> My boy's not going to call me magic. 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 I learned how to smile because of magic dressing. At Michigan State, it was all about magic this, magic that. Just behind his back, no look passes. That's magic. I guess that's what I am. The Los Angeles Lakers select Urban Magic Johnson. I'm happy to be here and partner with Apple TV Plus to do my this doc series based on my life. Um, the journey from Lansing, Michigan. Um, growing up there, and my parents are in it, the, my brothers and sisters. Um, young men who I grew up with and played with back in high school, college, and then of course here in Los Angeles with the Lakers. When you share personal things about yourself, um, you know, I don't know how many people really appreciate the, the vulnerability that goes into that. Um, it's a lot. It's literally like walking around naked. He gave us a blueprint because we moved Zaya from Miami, everything she knew, to LA because we yep. thought it would be a little bit more open and welcoming and who had who had who had blazed that trail before us magic and cookie that was our first call we're like where did you send the EJ to school where like what schools are open and welcoming and and have it and you know aren't going to treat our child as a as a challenge um, they gave us a blueprint and that's what this is all about it's yeah. way bigger than one of the most important things is being committed to to the game uh, being committed to the game of life. Magic has charm and he has leadership, uh, you know, and he has the ability to get people to be at their best. He helped me be at my best. I know I helped him be at his best. My husband is the type of man, like, I don't know what, whatever tries to knock him down, he just shakes it off and he just gets back up and he never looks back. My sister and I were quite sheltered growing up, like kind of away from that. It wasn't until like later that I learned about a lot of stuff that he had gone through. I'm sure you're going to find out something that, you know, you don't know or there will be some revelation that you'll kind of go, oh my goodness, you know, but the fact that uh, he's this amazing kind of sponge that when he met Jerry Buss, he saw Jerry Buss as an opportunity to learn how to live after basketball and he did. I just keep going and I hope that uh, I continue to bless people and um, I think this doc series will do that and um, I'll continue to do my work in terms of communities of color and trying to make them better and create jobs for people in that, those communities and so that's it. We got along very well you know um, we never had any problems uh, even when you know after we won our first world championship they gave uh, what should have been my MVP to Magic. And you know, we could have been mad at it, you know, I could have been mad about that, but I wasn't gonna let anything like that come between us, you know? And uh, Magic offered it to me when he got off the plane. I said, no, you keep that. We're not gonna argue about anything having to do with that. We just won the world championship. Let's party. He's very selfless. He's very magnificent, honestly, and all that. He's very, he's larger than life, you know? And also he like loves very hard. When I think of magic, I think of basketball. When I think of herb, I just think of uh, joy and laughter because that's all we do. There is a lot of stuff that I don't think has been talked about in depth, you know, when it comes to his relationship, you know, with my mom and, you know, obviously all the, that he's um, accumulated as an powerful businessman, um, which is always the side of him that I wanted everyone to see because, like, that's always what made me respect him and love him was his rise to that. About HIV and AIDS is about struggle. It's about great times. It's about tough times. And so uh, it's about what my wife, you know, um, you know, all our struggle together, but finally coming together in an incredible love story. So it's about a lot of different things. And so I'm happy that it touches every phase of my life. And uh, here we are. Introducing the towering point guard from the Midwest, number 32, Urban Magic Justin. It's showtime. I was 
assigned to cover Irvin's first game. He did stuff I'd never seen in a basketball floor before. So the sports writer came in and he said, I want to give you a nickname. About magic. He's like, yeah, right. <laughs> My boy's not going to call me magic. 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 I learned how to smile because of magic dressing. At Michigan State, it was all about magic this, magic that. Just behind his back, no look passes. That's magic. I guess that's what I am. The Los Angeles Lakers select Urban Magic Johnson. All of a sudden, we started to win. He's going to be the greatest player of all time. And in walks Magic Johnson approaching the podium. Let's go to Magic. First of all, let me say good, a- good after late afternoon. Um, because of uh, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers. I am still- Magic becomes a role model for those who were also afflicted with the disease. To see somebody who has HIV on the dream team? He drove me to be a better basketball player. He's always thinking about the next move. This is a movie complex built by Magic Johnson in the Crenshaw District of LA. It's in the middle of the Bloods and the Crips. We can't have violence. I said, call the heads. I want to have breakfast. Okay, you sure now? I said, yeah. Now he's doing no-look passes with real estate funds and franchises. If you don't make a difference in the black community, that doesn't matter that you win a championship. I show people how to live a different way. We always said we wanted to have a big family. In the beginning, he was figuring himself out. I was figuring myself out. With EJ, I had to check myself. You got to change, not him, you. Now I'm in my element. I'm going to do me and do my thing. I'm just going to be Irvin Johnson.